from newstalkzb.co.nz. First, for breaking news. The future of financially troubled solid energy is in doubt. The government appears to have changed its stance on keeping the state-owned coal mining company going. Finance Minister Bill English says he's making no promises as to the long-term future of solid energy. He's on the phone and joins me now. Good morning to you, Minister. Good morning. Appreciate your time this morning. Does solid energy have a long-term future? Well, that, uh, I don't think it's quite right we've uh, changed our stance. Uh, when the company originally uh, got into quite a bit of financial difficulty, uh, we indicated that we would be uh, behind them to make sure the creditors got paid and the staff um, had some certainty. Uh, but what came with that was a pretty thorough investigation into just what viable business there may be uh, in solid energy. Now, that process is underway. The question hasn't been answered yet. Uh, so, But we, we've indicated that uh, if there's a viable business there, then um, we'd, be, we'd support re- further restructuring of solid energy to create a sustainable business, and we would expect others, like the banks, to make a con- contribution to that. So is there a viable business there, do you think? Well, we, we don't know the answer to that question yet. Uh, I think anyone can see uh, from the announcements yesterday and previous announcements that there has to be very significant change in solid energy uh, to turn it into a smaller company with a strong focus on mining coal. That process is underway. Uh, There's also the process of dealing with the substantial amount of debt that it's got. And over the next couple of months, we'll, we'll have clearer answers but if there, if there is no viable business there, then we, we're certainly not going to you know, subsidise something that can't work. It seems so amazing to me, Minister. I mean, I, I did my journalism internship on the West Coast uh, you know, many years ago. Solid Energy was the pin-up boy, was the golden goose of the West Coast. How do we get to this level now? Well, that's, that's a bit of a, a sad story, particularly for the staff who've been caught up in it. Uh, and I, we, not, we haven't spent too much time you know, going back over what's happened because our focus has been on creating as much certainty for creditors and for staff. Uh, but is that part of the problem, that there was too much, and also Labor admits this too, there was too much of a hands-off approach from the government? The, I think you could... Well, look, the government depends for all of these businesses, as SOEs, depends to a large extent on the board and the management. Uh, and in the case of solid energy, what became there's a couple of things that have become clear. One is that they assumed a much higher coal price than actually turned out to be the case. Uh, and they, uh, in the latter part of last year, had a significant downturn, or the year before, very significant downturn in their export business, not just from lower prices but also from lower volumes. And also they developed a very expensive overhead structure, partly through their, or mostly driven by their investigation of alternative um, coal-type fuels. Uh, And they invested and investigated quite a range of different types of uh, fuel sources besides their normal coal business, and that, and, and that essentially, turned out to be very expensive. And, and they failed in that. Why was there no... I suppose this, the question always comes down to why was there no oversight from a government point of view to make sure that these flowery businesses or investment options uh, did or didn't get the green light? Well, there was oversight, and I think as has become public uh, early on, uh, for about four years ago, the Solid Energy had some propositions for very substantial investment from government to turn themselves into a very a very large semi-monopoly resource company. Uh, and that is when the, the uh, discussion started. There certainly was oversight. Uh, the government did not agree with those propositions. Uh, then we had the um, what was called the scoping studies, and that was when we got outside people to scrutinise the company to see if it was going to be suitable for floating on the stock market through the uh, mixed ownership program. Uh, and it turned out the, that that turned up the major issues around um, the assumptions around coal prices and the very high overhead, very expensive overheads that solid energy had. Mm. And so from then on, there has been a pretty a consistent program of action to get the company back in shape. 
Minister, I'm no expert on coal prices internationally. I don't think many people can say they are. But uh, if the price of coal is cyclical, as many people say, why are 100 solid energy positions unsustainable? Because won't they bounce back again? Uh, it appears not. Uh, and as I said, that the, there's two things going on here. One is the coal price has turned out to be consistently lower than solid energy expected. Yes, it will go through cycles. It may go down again and come back up, and the company needs to be structured in a way that it can handle that in the future. But the second thing driving the job losses is that the, go the company built up a very big head office with large numbers of people that were uh, pretty well paid, and the core business of coal mining simply can't support uh, that uh, overhead structure. So, it's, look, it's, it's very difficult for people who... Uh, felt they were joining a strong, sustainable uh, company. Uh, we really s sympathise with the uncertainty and for many of them the job loss that they've, that they've had to bear. Uh, we, we are committed to doing what we can to creating an ongoing, sustainable company. I suppose the other issue too, as Chairman Mark Ford says, the reality is there could be more job losses to ensure the business stays afloat. Uh, that could well be the case, and that, that's the, 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 all those questions are being asked now. Well, over there, really appreciate your time this morning. Finance Minister Bill English, thanks so much for your time. No problem. Thanks. Appreciate it. What can you do on the new ZB iPhone app? Puts my socks into pairs for me. Gets my child dressed in the morning. Wakes my surfboard for me. I love how it cooks dinner for me, just like in the Jetsons. And wait till you see the real whizzy stuff. A little man jumps out of my iPhone and does my housework. So keep up with your favourite radio station. Available now on iPhone and Android. News Talk ZB. Thanks to launch partner Harcourts. Global. National. Local. You.